Hi team, it's Josh, and today I thought I'd kick off a new type of video on this channel, where we do something completely ridiculous with technology, because why not? So we're going to try and find the fastest SSD for a laptop. And with me is the Aero 17, one of the fastest laptops out there because it has a well-cooled 8-core CPU. Now, what makes this laptop a prime contender for this is it actually has two NVMe SSD slots and supports hardware RAID. Firstly, a quick primer on RAID. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Disks, and it rose to prominence during the days of mechanical hard drives. Now, with RAID came two key benefits. The first is performance. RAID offers the ability to spread the load across multiple disks. And second is redundancy. Now for today, we're gonna to focus purely on performance. So we're gonna look at a mode of RAID called RAID zero or striping. And what that effectively does is if you have two pages of data to be read, it reads from one drive and the other simultaneously. If you have two to be written, it writes to one and writes the other to the other. Pretty simple. So in theory, so long as you have at least more than one page of data to be read or written, it should be around double the speed. To make this possible, I have with me some of the fastest SSDs that work in laptops, the Samsung 970 Pro Drive and the newer Samsung 970 Evo Plus. Now for my RAID configuration, I'm gonna go with two one terabyte drives, the 970 Evo Plus. You might say, hang on Josh, I thought the 970 Pro was faster. But in my testing, and I'm gonna throw some on the screen right now, I found that the 970 Evo Plus was a good amount faster. You may notice that the 970 Pro is only a 512 gig drive where the other is a one terabyte drive. And generally speaking, one terabyte drives, NVMe SSDs, are often faster than the 512 gig alternatives. But I don't believe it makes up such a degree of difference here. So we're gonna run the RAID with the two 970 Evo Plus drives. All right, I'm gonna run a variety of tests, including standard disk testing utilities like ASSSD, Crystal Diskmark, as well as everyday usage, such as code compiling, importing large databases, exporting 4K videos, and of course, game loading for Battlefield 5. I'm gonna run each of these tests twice and pick the highest result. Now you might say, well, hang on a second, RAM caching may be at play here. And yes, you're right, but in everyday usage, it's at play anyway. I'm gonna pop on the screen, the specs in the laptop and how I'm running these tests. I'm also gonna compare these faster drives with the standard Intel 760p drive that this laptop came with to see how much of a benefit there really is. The process to install the drives and set up RAID was simple. I opened up the back of the laptop and installed the two drives. I then booted into the BIOS change from AHCI mode to Intel RST Premium, which is Intel's rapid storage technology. I then restarted, booted back into the BIOS and was able to select the two drives and create my RAID 0 array. After all that, I reinstalled Windows, updated to the latest version, installed all the latest drivers and was ready to test. Here are all the AS SSD scores. Wait, what? The RAID array is substantially slower than a single drive. How is that possible? Let's take a look at Crystal Dismark. Some scores are a little faster, like the sequential read and write, but others are slower, like the 8Q depth with eight threads. It's definitely nowhere near double the speed I was expecting. What's going on here? After reading around, I believe I have the answer. Links below. I think the four PCIe 3.0 lanes that are assigned to each of the two drives in this laptop are being routed through the chipset to the CPU and being fused together into a single set of four PCIe lanes and therefore capping the speeds. Take a look at the sequential read and write speeds. They are almost at the max possible for a four line PCIe 3.0 speed of 3.9 gigabytes. If these were two separate four lanes going straight to the CPU, it should be able to get higher than that close to double. After being disappointed by the results of the RAID tests, I thought I'd turn my focus to how does the fastest performing drive, which turns out to be a single 970 EVO Plus, compare to the drive that the laptop actually came with and whether it was worth upgrading at all. Let's start by comparing AS SSD scores. As you can see, the Evo Plus wiped the floor with the Intel 760p drive with a score of 5,756 to 2,791. 
Wow, now let's take a look at some real world tests between the two drives. Here is game loading in Battleford 5, where we do see a solid game between the two drives. And here is importing a large SQL database, very similar results. Here is compiling code, very similar results. And here is doing a 4K video export in Premiere Pro, a slight lead to the Evo Plus drive. In conclusion, although I did find the fastest drive for this laptop, a single one terabyte 970 Evo Plus, I learned two things. One, that RAID 0 really doesn't matter. And unless you have a laptop out there that the PCIe lanes of the SSDs go straight to the CPU, I wouldn't bother with that at all. And two, that there really is very little performance benefit of bumping up from a medium range NVMe SSD drive like the one that came with this laptop to the fastest SSD out there. So folks, I'd save you money. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, click the thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, feel free to reply with comments, including suggestions for ideas you'd like for future videos. Till next time, I'll catch you later.